welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna show you yes my name piercing at home as per my title you all know it and these are some clips of my nails after i have pierced and without any further ado let's get started for this you have no you don't need anything fancy or anything that short for this you only need a safety pin and this small bell one and as per your wish you can use a tiny bell thing like me or any stone like if you like and for this I'm gonna use my ring finger before I thought I used to I can use my index but suddenly it got broken I don't know why then I started to think of this ring finger and I'm doing it so for that you have to take this safety pin which is sharp edge one we all have safety pins at home so you should at least have the length of my nail this helps in do it without any injuries if, ha if you have short nails don't do it at home okay and now you should measure like the so to get avoid the injuries so you should make sure you are doing your whole or piercing away from the from your finger if you know what I mean and just start doing from this side not from below because it won't do and it can lead to injury and give your nail a base on your tabletop like so not like this you have to give your finger an angle I'll show you in a second like so so that if you are giving your hair nail base then this will be so easy like so as you can see I have pierced it with this safety pin and don't take it off directly after having the hole please keep it for some time as it is your nail it can be if you take it immediately the hole will be closed immediately so give it some time to make a big hole now for your concern I am taking the safety pin immediately and you can see the hole but afterwards you can pierce it again and it takes some more time so don't take it immediately just keep it there for about two to five minutes to give to make a hole big and permanent if you know what I mean then after this you are gonna take your one and it should have an another separate hook like so can you see that sorry for my lightning a separate hook should be there to make this process easy and you can lose or open that hook to insert that into that hole now take the safety pin and you can insert it you can make it as your wish and see how I am doing and see for this I have my hole was again closed so that I can't insert it so I am in putting my safety pin again to make the hole open up a little bit so make sure you rotate or move it outwards to make the hole open and you can immediately add this one and don't be in a hurry and that got that can leads to injuries and after inserting it you can close the hook with your hands like me or you can use any special tools I don't prefer those so I am doing with my finger it's easy you have to choose the hook which is lightweight and thin and not so strong one if you know what I mean and this is how voila, it's done and this is the complete look as you can see there's not nothing fancy nothing much going on it's like on the five minutes work you can do in your at your home as this a quarantine period you all guys are suffering at home me too so i want to check my i want to uh, tell you my piercing at home 
and this will be amazing for you guys you can do with other stones and other hooks if you want and one more thing is that when you are going to bath or something else you can just remove it like you do your, your finger rings and all and you can just add it when you want this is one and please do take care of the injury love you all bye bye